everyone, welcome to my second video of the vlog series. It's been about a month since I made the last entry as far as a vlog goes. During that time I was just starting out and that was a month ago. I've come a long way in, in one month. I still haven't started university yet. That starts in about three to four weeks. So I've been, I've been keeping really busy. I've been doing some work uh, just to get some, some cash and whatnot. And I was also asked if I could make an Android app. A friend of mine came to me, they said, oh, I hear that you're learning Java. We would really like you to make us an app if you, if you feel comfortable doing it. The Android developer that we was gonna go with, they're charging $6,000 uh, Australian dollars. And if you can make it, that would be great because it'd give you an opportunity to learn and you'll probably be cheaper than the Android developer. So I was a bit worried because I'd, I'd never touched Android apps before. So I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. But I went with I went with it anyway. I was like, okay, I'll tell you what, I'll work on it. And if I can't do it, have a backup plan. Just have a backup plan just in case. And I set myself a goal to have a mock-up uh, app before, I think it was last, last Friday, Friday just gone. And I actually got the app done. Strangely, I was really surprised. So they 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 were quite happy with that, and I've just been adding on to it, and it's got to be finished by this Friday, which it will be. I'm almost finished. I'm on the last stage. Now, I was really ner like I mentioned, I was really nervous about starting this app because I'd never made an app before. So what I did was I I went ahead and I downloaded Android Studio. And then I went and done a lot of reading, watched a lot of tutorials on YouTube, uh, read some Android Studio blogs to see what they'd done. And I basically got a feel for what Android Studio is and how it works. I had a lot of problems with the emulator uh, because if you keep the emulator open too long, it actually disconnects. And also uh, I had to learn very quickly how to use the log cat inside Android Studio because the program was opening and then just not working. It was just closing down. And it's not very intuitive what's going wrong in Android Studio. So if you don't know to look at the log cat and you don't know what you're looking for, it can be very, um, an un, a, a, not a very nice experience. And then on top of that, you also get the same area if the emulator has disconnected, it's, if it's gone offline for whatever reason, even though it's on, your screen, it might not necessarily be connected. So you have to check your ADB logs. And then if it is connected, you go ahead and you test your log cap. And then you see where the error is, hopefully. And it could be so add a lot of areas, errors such as, <clears throat> you know, super.onCreate isn't um, being called or whatnot. So I spent about three, I've spent about, so far I've spent about three weeks on trying to get this app working and I've actually done it. I've, I've completed the app. I've, like I said, I'm on the last stages of it. I've got some Android um, pads coming to me to program uh, that'll be coming this week and I'll be sending them off to where they're going. Everything's going really good. Um, a month ago I was coming into Java as, as a real, real novice and I would say right now, I would say that I am bordering intermediate. I wouldn't say I'm intermediate yet, but I'm certainly bordering. I certainly know quite a bit. So what have I learned from throwing myself in and, and doing the Android app? Well, I've learned a lot about handlers and threads. You have to know a lot about that in order to make an Android app. I've also learned that just throw yourself in, look at tutorials, look at very specific stuff to your program. The program I made was a reaction timer and there's no source code out there for it as far as I as far as I look, because I did look. My first reaction was cool. I'll look for some source code, I'll import the source code, and I'll just adjust it to my needs and my specs. Couldn't find anything uh, for an Android reaction timer source code. So that was upsetting. So I actually had to start from scratch. And one of the first things that I needed to happen was the button would need to be delayed and then show and then be visible for a certain period of time, then unvisible, and so on and so forth, and you have to actually interact with it. 
So that took me a long time, many sleepless nights, just working on it, uh, 12 hours, 13 hours a day, <clears throat> until eventually I got it. Lots of program crashes. <laughs> I had to restart the program twice because I fucked it up beyond all recognition. So yeah, I mean, it's been a, a real experience and you have to have a lot of perseverance just to keep going. So I wouldn't change it and I, and I think this is probably one of the better ways to learn. I don't know, don't quote me there. It depends, at the time it certainly doesn't feel like it. So as far as the, the programming goes and my journey to become a software engineer is certainly on the way. I will be making tutorials, I've been thinking about this now. There's lots of tutorials online about Java and whatnot. The downside to it, however, is that most of them are quite old. They're like 2000 or, you know, 2008, some of them. So they're very, they're, they, you know, they're very old. And the Java's actually, you know, it's progressed quite a lot since those tutorials. Uh, some of them are, are not being done as best as they could be done in today's um, Java. So as I, when I start university, I'll be going ahead and doing tutorials on basically what I'm learning as I'm learning it so you guys can can uh, can learn along with me if you would like. Um, there's not really much else to talk about. I'm going away on Friday to Europe, uh, going to uh, Denmark and then, and then Sweden. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to get any videos out, but I really would like to show you this um, Android Studio and also show you the app that I've created. Uh, I could show you on the phone because I've actually got it on the phone. <clears throat> I'm actually debugging it on the phone as opposed to the emulator and if you mess around with Android Studio you'll probably understand why the um, the emulator for some reason disconnects and goes offline even though it's active after a period of time and of course when you're trying code out and, and testing it and debugging it um, it won't it will throw an error on the emulator so to say this applications you know sorry for the inconvenience it's closed down and you think it's your code, the new bit of code you've put in, when in fact it's actually your device has gone offline. Um, you've got to thank the ADB for that. So what I do now is I just pull it on the phone. It's always online. And if it isn't, it, was, it won't show up when you when you select your device. So I just, I'm just i using the phone uh, purely because the emulator just sucks ass, really. It's, it fucking sucks. Uh, it loads really quickly on the Mac because I've got 16 gigs of, of RAM, but it disconnects and it's just a pain in the ass. Now, you could go into the terminal and disconnect it and create a path, but it's just too much hassle having to go in and, and cancel it and start it again. It's just all bollocks, especially when you're just programming. So I've got the phone here. I've also got um, an Android pad that I can switch in to test it on different uh, faces, different uh, screen resolutions. Um, so that's, that's basically what I've been doing. Maybe I'll do some tutorials later on how to get started with Android Studio. Uh, it's, it's Android Studio is really cool. I really like it, um, especially the autocomplete. I know in my first video, I was talking about how you need to code it all. Fuck that, not with this. You've got so many constructors and you, you have to cast things and it just takes so long if you don't, especially when you're, you're building uh, quite a big app. So, yeah, definitely recommend using Android Studio. Now, I know you can do it in Cl Eclipse, um, but I have i don't know, I've kind of gone off Eclipse. I did use it um, for my Python when I was programming Python, uh, but no, I've, I've completely gone off Eclipse for now anyway. Maybe that'll change later. Um, so, yeah, there's not really much else to report. I've just been very busy with the programming. I've been reading lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of books. Uh, one thing I've learned from programming this app, I've learned a lot about threads and handlers. I would say that I'm intermediate when it comes to threads and handlers. I've used them that much and messed them up that much. I'm, I'm pretty good at that now. Uh, so the next video, what I'll probably do is I'll show you my app and the code and some a few basics in in Visual, uh, in Android Studio, and we'll go from there. Until next time, uh, Keep watching my videos, enjoy, like, subscribe, and I'll keep you guys up to date with what I'm doing. And then when uni starts, I'll start making some tutorials so that you guys can follow along and, and whatnot, and you'll be getting the best information there. 
because a lot of the stuff I know how to do, I know what it does, but sometimes I don't know the correct name for it. Um, that's kind of one of the downfalls of, of sort of teaching yourself. You kind of, you know, you just follow tutorials and you don't really know what things are called properly. Uh, you just know that how they work, basically. So uh, I want to do it so that you guys have got the best information with where you go. And I'll try and keep it, uh, I'll try and keep it really down to earth. I'll give really good examples. That's, there's a lot of tutorials there that they say, oh, okay, use interfaces, but they give really crappy examples and it doesn't really um, show you how they work really. It kind of, it works, but you don't know why or you don't know what the purpose of it is. And I think that's because of the examples. So I think that the tutorials really need a lot of thought. Um, so yeah, we'll go from there. So take care. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.